Brooklyn burst onto the scene, one of the most gifted heavyweights in history, according to many boxing fans. He very quickly made his way through the entire division of heavyweights and knocked out everyone, one by one. The fighter possessed an excellent attack style, elusive speed, and ruthless killer instinct, which has no equal to this day. Iron Mike Tyson Today, we will show you the most brutal and aggressive knockouts of the legendary Iron Mike. September 1985, Mike Tyson vs. Michael Johnson. In the first round, Mike hit a left hook on the hull and sent Johnson to the ring deck. He rose to the count of three. Tyson stepped forward and threw the right cross, which hit Johnson in the jaw and immediately knocked him down. Without beginning a count, the referee waved an end to the bout. Johnson remained down in the ring momentarily before being helped to a stool. This is a big win to let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. October 1985, Mike Tyson vs. Donnie Long. After the gong hit, the boxers met in the middle of the ring and Donnie Long immediately made an unforgivable mistake in the fight with Mike Tyson. He stands right in front of him and does not move at all. Tyson again, another one of those fresh youngsters, only 19 years of age. Long is 27. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that was quick. Tyson. Left hand again. Well, he nearly sent Long out of the ring with that left hook. Tyson. Oh, Long is down. Second time. Tyson comes out with a strong right hand barrage again. This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look. Donnie bounced to the ropes, and at the end of the first round, Michael Buffer declares the ninth consecutive victory of Mike Tyson by knockout. That was a good performance. Not just because of what he did. If you look at Donnie Long, and he's talking to the doctor, he said, oh, he's okay. But because... November 1985. Mike Tyson versus Eddie Richardson. From the very beginning of the battle, it became clear that it would not last long. Richardson held his hands low and tried to keep Tyson at a distance with a languid jab. As soon as he managed to strike his third blow, Tyson shoots a long right in the head at the jump. It was not unnoticeable that Richardson was greatly shocked by the blow. After sitting a little on the floor, Eddie still decides to get up. Tyson immediately tried to finish off the opponent, but Richardson tried his best to reach the end of the round and not let himself be knocked out. After the third clinch, Mike pushes the opponent into a corner and puts his crown left side to the head. Tyson, a fellow for whom everybody predicts a great future. Uh, if they can find some fights, then... Richardson is back on the floor. The referee counted the full 10 seconds, but Eddie did not find the strength to rise. Barry Yates had no choice but to stop the fight. I see right now a major flaw and problem in, in Mike Tyson's career, and that's going to be to have a fight that lasts long enough to get some good footage on it. I'm telling you what, it's hard to do. Mike Tyson, without a doubt, one of the bright stars in the heavyweight picture, now goes to 11-0. December 1985, Mike Tyson versus Sammy Scaff. The first round, Tyson started quite atypical for himself. He did not try to immediately carry out a powerful blow. In order to discourage the opponent from the first seconds as in previous battles, Mike showed only his abilities in defense. At the same time, Scaff did not force events and tried to catch Tyson with sweeping blows from both hands. Sammy walks away to the ropes, trying to fight back with languid blows. But Tyson lands a hail of blows on him and knocks the opponent down. It was evident that Scaff had no strength to continue. He lay face down on the floor, covered in his blood. 
Although Sammy Scaff rose to the score nine, referee Fred Ucci stopped the fight. Scaff's face was covered in blood. Torres, the New York State Boxing Commission chairman, and another custom auto protege, and certainly there's got to be some strong feeling inside. Uh, June 1986, Mike Tyson versus Reggie Gross. The referee and at this time, Johnny Lubianco. From the start of the fight, it was clear that Reggie Gross was afraid of Tyson. He hits the jab and immediately jumps back. At one point, Reggie explodes and holds a 15-strike combination. He even manages to hook the opponent with an uppercut exactly in the jaw. But Mike Tyson, having waited for the right moment under the hail of blows, shoots his crown left the side and sends Gross to the floor of the ring. The audience roars with delight. Gross struggles to his feet, leaning on the ropes. Referee John Lobianco gives the command to continue. Tyson tried to end the fight on the right, but the blow came in defense. Already, the next left side again sends Reggie Gross to the floor. Gross barely got up again and, for some reason, was very dissatisfied with the referee's decision, pushing him with gloves in the chest. January 1986, Mike Tyson versus Mike Jameson. From the first seconds of the battle, Tyson shoots a magnificent uppercut in response to Jameson's right-handed hit. Noted for his very vicious quick starts and he has set the pace right, right from the work goal. Mike Tyson is a finisher, he's established that. After another clinch, Joe Cortez makes another remark to Jameson. As soon as he received the command to continue, Tyson pounced on the opponent with a powerful nine-strike combination. Tyson, the tired namesake, could not bear such pressure and collapsed to the floor. However, he quickly gets up and wants to continue the fight. After four shot combinations on the body with the transfer to the head, Tyson forces the opponent to kneel. Jameson gets up again and wishes to continue. However, Joe Cortez decided that it would be better for him to stop the fight. Jameson wants to continue. Referee Joe Cortez says no. Jameson says he wants to go on, but the referee Joe Cortez says it is over here in the... March 1986, Mike Tyson versus Steve Zowski. From the very beginning of the battle, Tyson went forward as usual. Having broken right to the meeting, he develops an attack with a powerful jab. Zowski, defending himself, moves to the ropes. Ready to go to war. He's already shaken Zowski up with the first shot of the fight, and he almost looked disgusted that Zowski looked ready to fall. What a body shot with the left hand by the converted southpaw Mike Tyson. In the third round, Mike continues to work in single shots and force the opponent to retreat throughout the ring. Clinging close to his opponent, Steve hoped to protect himself from Mike's power, but Tyson carried out a lightning series of four uppercuts and a right side, putting Zowski on the verge of knockdown. Another uppercut and Steve looks completely lost. It's not even clear what makes him stay on his feet. This could not go on for long. Tyson crouches on his left foot and shoots a lightning left side into the opponent's head. It was a classic knockout. Steve Zowski fell forward, hitting his face on the ring. Referee Arthur Mercante gave the score. Zowski began to rise, but before the count of 10, did not have time. A third round knockout, not TKO, but third round knockout for Mike Tyson, who ups his record to 90. May 1987, Mike Tyson versus Pinklin Thomas. The bookmakers' bets in this fight were six to one in favor of Mike. Shiggy's come out fighting. In the sixth round, a real beating begins in the ring. Thomas misses the left side of the head of monstrous power. Then, Mike Tyson inflicts 17 more powerful unrequited blows to the head from both hands. He's getting nailed by Tyson. This could be it. Thomas, 
really nailed. Big left hook, big right hand. Pinklin Thomas fell onto the ring floor. The referee gave the score, but to rise to the score of 10, Thomas was no longer able to continue the match. The referee stops the fight. Angelo Dundee says no. The corner cannot stop a championship fight. I think he counted him out. I'm not sure if that's going to be scored as a TKO or a knockout. I think he may have counted him out. October 1987, Mike Tyson versus Tyrell Biggs. But, uh, no problems there anyway, they won't From the first round, Tyrell Biggs began to hop around Tyson, emulating the style of Muhammad Ali. He is trying to shoot himself with a jab, but almost misses. Mike effectively dodges and constantly crushes the opponent. Before the punch actually is thrown, well, whatever he does, the fact that... With difficulty, Biggs held on to the seventh round. After another prolonged clinch, Mike puts a short and hard left side into the opponent's temple. Tyrell Biggs tumbles out of the ropes. His face fills with blood, but he nevertheless stands at the count of nine and decides to continue the fight. The referee did not have time to give the command boxing, as Tyson inflicted a powerful right on the opponent's head. Tyrell leaned to the ropes. Tearing the distance a little, Tyson inserts another left side into the jaw. This blow was the last for Tyrell Biggs. He collapsed helplessly onto his back in a corner, and Tony Orlando had no choice but to stop the beating. Ladies and gentlemen, the end. No Cortez moves in to have a look. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. Tyson goes over to take a look at Marvis Frazier, obviously quite concerned. August 1986, Mike Tyson versus Jose Ribalta. Ribalta was the first heavyweight boxer to cover almost the entire distance with Mike Tyson. In the eighth round, the audience is rooting for Ribalta and chanting, Jose, Jose. Apparently, Tyson was hurt by this attitude of the public, and he is making a powerful six-hit combination in the middle of the ring. After the final right side, Jose Ribalta loses the mouthpiece. Ribalta ties him up. Let's take a look at Tyson and work. There's a nice uppercut, followed by a good two-punch combination and two... Half a minute before the end of the round, Mike still manages to put a powerful right hand straight into the opponent's head, and Jose Ribalta bounced off the ropes and lowered himself onto the ring floor. Four will send five. Tyson to the neutral corner. That was very smart. The public again begins to chant his name. Mike dislikes this, and he goes on the attack with a powerful right-handed straight to the head. Overshot and then adds the left lateral to the jaw. Ribalta falls back onto the ring floor. He stands at the count of three and intends to continue the fight. Tyson immediately attacks the opponent with a series of blows to the head. All five shots hit exactly in the head of Jose. The referee decided that it was time to intervene and stop the fight. Ribalta is clearly not happy with the decision. aggressive style and working the left hook. He was able to hurt Ribalta a number of times, but Ribalta maintained his composure. Work. July 1989, Mike Tyson versus Carl Williams. In the first round, Williams works well as a jab and prevents Tyson from reaching the attack distance. A few strokes reach the goal. For a while, Mike looks puzzled but then carries out a magnificent blow to the left in the liver area. Williams clinches and hangs on the opponent. The referee makes boxers. In less than 10 seconds, Mike Tyson dives under the left arm of Carl Williams and puts a powerful left side in the jaw. Williams falls on the ropes. Williams' eyes look lost. He tries to rise but is forced to rely on the ropes again. On the second attempt, Carl still gets up and the referee asks if he can continue the fight. First, he closes his eyes and shakes his head. But as soon as the referee decides to end the fight, Carl Williams makes a real scandal and breaks into a fight. 
a minute 32 instead of a minute 31. It was, as you started to point out, again, Larry, a left hook. Williams was very unhappy at the end of that. March 1996, Mike Tyson versus Frank Bruno II. Bruno, at that time, had been a professional boxer for over 13 years. He was a former European heavyweight champion and had received several shots at the world heavyweight title over the course of his career. At the beginning of the third round, Mike Tyson explodes, causing nine unrequited strikes to drive Bruno under the ropes, and he ceases to defend himself. Mills Lane had no choice 